I am Dave, Senior Architect at CA Technologies. Today I will be discussing about migrating CA Spectrum. As you know, migration is required to upgrade CA Spectrum from one platform to another, or from one operating system to another. You can migrate the existing Spectro Server database and Archive Manager database and other upgradable components to a different directory or system, and then upgrade CA Spectrum. This way you can continue to manage your network with the existing CA Spectrum version during the installation process. For this demonstration, we are using distributed Spectro Server deployment, where one-click and Spectro Server are to be installed on different servers. Here, we are migrating CA Spectrum from 32-bit platform to 64-bit platform. Note. Before installation, make sure you preserve the existing Spectro Server database, CA Spectrum event. Spectrum installer by default creates a directory structure while installing CA Spectrum. As part of the migration process, we need to back up same directory structure in the local drive of a one-click server. Spectrum will use those backup files to retain the customized settings. So let's take the backup before proceeding with migration. In the local drive, create a Win32 app folder with two subfolders, custom and SS where current version backup files are placed. Here we have customized events and that needs to be backed up. So let's copy the events folder to the custom folder of the server. Observe events folders contains three subfolders. Browse the CA folder. Delete the event disk files as they are not required for one click install. However, note if you are migrating in a standalone environment then we need to retain these files. In this distributed setup we will first install one click in server one. So download the CA Spectrum installer from the CA support site and run the setup file. First, install the SR admin for remote connectivity. Select install CA Spectrum remote administration option from the installation wizard. Wait until the preparing to install process ends. CA Spectrum remote administration setup window is displayed. Click next to continue the installation. Accept the license agreement and click next. Then specify the destination location and click install to proceed. Wait until the installation completes. This completes the SR admin install, and the next step is to install one click of CA Spectrum. So click Done and return to the installer wizard. Select Install CA Spectrum. Wait until the preparing to install process ends. Accept the license agreement and click Next to proceed. Specify the destination host where you would like CA Spectrum to be installed and move ahead. Then, enter the SR admin authentication details and click Next. Specify the destination folder and proceed. Now, select the language. For this demonstration, let's select English. Select the appropriate components to be installed. As we are installing one click in this server, uncheck Spectro Server. And select one click in Report Manager. Note, if you want to install one click in Report Manager on the same host, then select both. Otherwise, either one click or Report Manager option should be checked. They are not dependent on each other. Review the pre-installation host evaluation summary and move ahead. Specify the install owner details and click Next. Enter the host name of the main location server and click Next. Then enter the one-click port number and continue. Select the Spectro server that Report Manager will report against. Click Next to continue. If you are migrating reporting data from another system, ensure that the proper root database privileges are granted. For the purpose of this demo, let's keep it blank and proceed. Review the settings and click Install. Once the installation is successful, click Next. Review the installation summary and click Done. Reboot the server. This completes the CA Spectrum one-click installation. As we are using distributed Spectro Server deployment, we need to install Spectro Server in another server. Similarly, before initiating the installation process, we need to create the directory structure in this server. In the local drive, create a Win32 app folder with two subfolders, custom and SS. In SS folder, create a DDM subfolder. Similarly, from backup files, copy events folder to custom folder of the server. Now, this time you need to delete the files available in the CSEV format in CSP cause subfolder as they are not required for Spectra server installation. However, note if you are migrating in a standalone environment, then we need to retain these files. Backup dbsavefile.ssdb in the ss folder. Ensure you do not compress this file. And dbsavefile.tgz in the ddm folder. Here you can continue with the compressed file. Now, run the CA Spectrum installer. Repeat the same process to install CA Spectrum Remote Administration, and then use the CA Spectrum installer 
to install Spectro Server in the second server. However, in the Select Options screen, select Spectro Server from the Components list. Make sure One Click and Report Manager are not selected. Once the installation is complete, reboot the server. After rebooting both One Click and Spectro Server, log in as the install owner on both machines. Now in Spectro Server, host security has to be configured in order to set connection between Spectro Server and One Click. Navigate to Spectrum Control Panel and click Host Security. Specify the servers and users that are allowed to connect to Spectro Server. Click OK to configure. Now start the Spectro Server. Once the status displays is running, you can connect to Spectro Server from one click. After configuration, open one click console. Observe CA Spectrum is migrated and all the existing settings and customizations are retained. I'm sure now you understood how easily and quickly you can migrate your CA Spectrum. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please refer to our education website.